Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Currently rolling out to 365 subscribers is another new function, the take function. Let me show you how it works. The take function returns a specified number of rows or columns from either the start or end of a range. Here I have the latest English soccer Premier League standings, but this could be any kind of data sales, HR, financial, anything. Over in columns K to R, I want to display the playing records for the top four teams, and the data is stored in an Excel table named Teams. So I'll type equals take open brackets the name of the table which is teams comma and the number of rows i want to copy across so the first four rows of the table are copied across and when the data in columns a to h changes or the teams change positions in the list the list in columns k to r updates automatically now what if the data isn't stored in a table well, if that's the case, just exclude the row with the headings when you're defining the array. So here I'll put equals take open brackets, select A2 to H21, comma, and four. So I'm saying take the first four rows from the range A2 to H21. Now I want to display the playing records of the bottom three teams. So I'll type equals take open brackets. The array is the name of the table and the number of rows in this case is minus three because it's the bottom three rows. And that is giving us, as you can see, Everton, Watford and Norwich. Finally, what if the data wasn't sorted in the order that you wanted? So here, the data, which is in a table called Teams 1, is alphabetical by team name. I want to copy all the columns for the top four teams over to columns K to R. But when I say top four teams, I don't mean Arsenal, Aston Villa, Brentford and Brighton. I mean the top four teams based on the points total. And I want it to display that data in points order, highest to lowest. To do this, I'll combine the take function with the sort function. So equals take open brackets and the array that I want to take the rows from is the sorted version of teams one. That's the table name sorted by the eighth column, column H and sorted into descending order. And then the number of rows I want to take is four. So I get the top four teams based on the points total, even though the original data isn't in points order. So that's the new take function. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know below in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up to that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.